Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of How To. Uh, for this, we're going to be going over the Tithe Farm minigame. The Tithe Farm minigame can be found in the southeast corner of Hosidius, which is in the southeasternmost corner of Zaya. To access this, you will need a minimum of level 34 farming, as well as 100% Hosidius favor. The reason that you would want to do this minigame is because you can get the full farmer's outfit, which you saw me wearing. Um, it does increase your farming experience by 2.5%, with lower pieces giving you lower uh, boosts. Other things are going to be auto weed, which prevents any kind of weeding um, from happening in your allotment or any kind of patches. The herb sack, which is incredibly useful. The seed box, which holds up to three different types of seeds. And Gricola's can is really only useful for the minigame. Then there is also the compost, super compost, and the grape seed, which I don't really recommend uh, buying. For this, I will be using level 75 agility as well as the full graceful outfit, and I find this to be um, perfect. You don't need any kind of staminas, energy potions, or uh, super energy potions. However, if you don't have the outfit or if you are a lower level of agility, then maybe bring some to just fill up the rest of your inventory for. Otherwise, you will need a seed dibber, a spade, and I recommend eight cans of water. From here, come down here, access or interact with the seed table, and then take whatever level of seed you have. The only difference is going to be the XP rates. The number of points that you get per hour is going to be the same. Um, around the level 34 seed will give you around 20 to 25,000 XP per hour. The level 54 will give you around 60,000 XP per hour, and then the level 74 seed will give you around 100,000 XP per hour. This is definitely one of the most dynamic ways of training your farming on uh, old school RuneScape. Going through the door, you will immediately be given a Gricola's fertilizer. We're going to go ahead and drop that because it doesn't really uh, mesh well with our um, the way that we're going to be doing it. I do have my camera facing south, and I will try to get uh, I will try not to get north and south mixed up too much while I'm doing this. Whenever you come in, you will see five uh, patches on the south, five patches to the north, as well as a little individual spot down here. We're not really worried about the individual spot down here, and we're worried about these three on the south, as well as these two on the north. I find that the best way to do this is to click on the seed that you're going to be using, click on the patch, immediately click on the watering can, and as soon as, if you're using the RuneLine client, as soon as that uh, orange circle pops up, you're going to want to click on it with the watering can already highlighted. Uh, this is going to kind of tick manipulate the game just a touch um, in order to start the watering animation before you actually finish off the seeding animation. From here, um, you're just going to go down and alternate between uh, row number one and row number two. Just from south to north, get the first, uh, the southern two, southernmost two. Then, and as soon as you uh, plant it, water it every single time. That's what's going to make this the easiest uh, and fastest way to get farming experience or uh, points or whatever you're whatever you're doing this mini game for. So as soon as you drop it in, water it, and you're going to kind of just want to follow this pattern. Once you've knocked out all of those, I always go back to where we originally started and do the patch beside it. So same thing, keep going through planting and uh, watering. If it is watered, again, using the RuneLine client, if it is watered, um, it will have a blue circle around it. If it is not watered, it has an orange circle around it. And whenever it's done, it has a green circle around it. The thing is, the plants here grow really fast, but they are susceptible to the blight. So if you are not able to get water on them before this orange circle runs out, then the plant will actually die, um, preventing you from getting any points. You do need to get at least 74 points, I wanna say. It's either 74 or 75 points in this game um, in order to, or you have to have harvested at least 74 or 75 in order to start getting points. The most points that you will get per game is going to be 26, um, and each game will take you around 20 minutes or so. You're going to continue alternating through here, going back and forth with these, and then I wanna say it's about three growth cycles, so one more on top of these over here, and then you will notice a green uh, circle, and that's going to be whenever it's able to be harvested. For this, if you are using the mid-level seed or the high-level seed, I recommend you uh, switching over to the farmer's outfit, and I will show that there's a little bit of a break in the action where you can do that. Um, with the lowest level seed, you're only going to get six experience each time you harvest it. And even wearing the full farmer's outfit, you're never going to see that boost up to a seven. Um, 
using the mid-level seed, you will get uh, two 14s and then a 15. So realistically, the amount of experience that you gain from it is rather negligible. But since there is no time that it's taken away switching into the farmer's outfit, I highly recommend just doing it. And if you don't want to do that, then definitely at least be wearing your farmer's outfit or whatever piece of farmer's outfit that you have uh, in order, whenever you're dropping it off into the herb sacks or the, uh, the deposit sacks, which are gonna be located uh, one over here, one in the middle, and then one on the far end. You can see here that these are in the last state of growth and they have the green circles on them. So we're able to actually, we click on that, immediately click your four pieces of farmer's outfit on and click on it again. Um, the first click will get you moving over to it. Then obviously you will overwrite that click whenever you switch into your farmer's outfit. And then whenever you click on it again, you will harvest. Continue going down just the way that um, we had originally done it. And whenever you've done your initial watering and you're going back to uh, rewater them, you don't have to worry about clicking in your inventory. It'll, you don't have to worry about canceling the animation. The only time you wanna do that is whenever you're actually planting. But you'll come down here, harvest all of these. Hopefully this is a pretty quick guide. And you can be doing these 20 at a time. Um, like I said, each game is going to take around 20 minutes to do and you'll get 26 points. Um, the total amount of points that you're going to want to get is gonna be listed up on screen right now. But that's how you will do a full set. Once you're done with that, you come over here. Um, again, this you will overwrite, um, kind of another little bit of tick manipulation, but click into your inventory each time. And you don't need to worry about filling up that last can that only has four in it. From here, you just restart, and that is how you do the mini game. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, uh, list them down below in the comment section. Uh, if you did like the video, leave a like, ring that bell, uh, because I may be dropping stuff like this every now and again on top of the Sunday uploads that I do with the Hardcore Iron Man. Um, hope you guys enjoyed.